Hello friends, in this video we are going to cover uh, the terms heat, temperature and uh, specific heat. So let us start with heat. Heat is a form of energy which gets transferred from hot body to cold body. So let us understand this with the help of an example here. Uh, this is a transparent glass vessel filled with uh, hot water which is uh, having a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. On the surface of this water we have poured coconut oil and this transparent vessel is covered with a lid. This is the lid with two holes. Through these holes we are inserting two thermometers in such a way that one thermometer is inserted into the hot water and the other thermometer is ins inserted into the oil. Initially uh, the temperature of thermometer which is placed inside the water is high. So water temperature is high initially whereas uh, if you observe the temperature of oil, the oil temperature is less. But after some time when you notice the temperature of oil increases whereas the water temperature decreases. So from this we can conclude that heat gets transferred from hot body to cold body. Now let us understand the term temperature. Uh, this is a system which is containing a, a vessel with a water placed on a glass uh, gas stove. When we turn on the knob the heat energy gets transferred to this whole system Initially when the heat energy is added, this heat energy is used for breaking hydrogen bond between the water molecules. The molecules of water are held together by hydrogen bonds. These bonds are broken when heat energy is added to the water. Once the hydrogen bonds are broken, it is then the heat energy goes to the water molecules. And when the heat energy increases, the water molecules start moving rapidly. So this rapid movement is what we uh, usually see as boiling, what we call as boiling of water. So when this happens, there is a rise in temperature. So temperature is nothing but average movement of water molecules. Initially, when we... Uh, at the heat energy there is no rise in temperature because at first when the heat energy is added that heat energy is used for breaking the hydrogen bonds. Once the bonds are broken the energy goes to the molecules and it helps in the rapid movement of molecules and then what we see as rise in temperature or we see as boiling of the water. Now let's discuss the term specific heat capacity. So here as you can see specific heat capacity uh, depends upon mass. So what does it mean? Like take two identical pans. Uh, one pan is filled with water which is of 200 grams of water and the other pan contains 400 grams of water. Now if I ask a question like which one boils first? Obviously the one with less uh, water, less amount of water boils first and the one with more amount of water boils uh, takes some time for increase in its temperature. Now uh, from this we can uh, conclude that if more the mass more should be the heat supplied for its change in temperature. Suppose the temperature was T1 degree Celsius now it has changed to T2 degree Celsius. If the mass of the body is less then heat required by that body will be less for its change in temperature. You can say the temperature has changed from T1 to T2 or you can write it as delta T where delta means change T is temperature, change in temperature. So this if we represent in equation form Q proportional to M into delta T. Q is the heat mass, m is mass, delta T is change in temperature. To remove this proportionality sign, I will take a constant that is Q is equals to S m delta T. 
this S means specific heat capacity. If I take S to one side, S is equals to Q by M delta T because M delta T was in numerator when it goes to the other side it comes in denominator. So this is specific heat capacity uh, equation. We represent uh, specific heat capacity with an equation that is S is equals to Q by M into delta T. The units for specific heat capacity is SI units will write first SI units is S is equals to Q SI unit is joules by mass unit is kg and uh, temperature unit is Kelvin. So joules by kg into Kelvin. Now if we write the CGS unit for this one, CGS units, heat unit is calorie by mass unit is gram into temperature unit is degree Celsius. So calorie per gram into degree Celsius. Whereas one calorie per gram into degree Celsius is equals to 4.2 kilo joules by kg into Kelvin. Now let's uh, continue with this like uh, specific heat depends upon nature of substance. So specific heat capacity not only depends upon mass but it also depends upon the nature of substance. Take two identical pans, one containing 200 grams of oil and the other containing 200 grams of water. Turn on the knob and place thermometer inside the two pans. The, the, what you notice is the temperature of oil will increase rapidly compared to water. When the water starts boiling at 100 degrees Celsius, the oil temperature has already reached a temperature of 130 degrees Celsius. That means oil needs less heat capacity than water. Or we can say that oil has lowest heat capacity or lowest specific heat capacity than water. Water has unique property of absorbing heat without rise in temperature. Like ocean, they absorb a large quantity of heat and behave as heat storehouses for earth. By this we end our topic. I hope you understood this.